I think the Moodle forum tool is good for expressing opinions about about like debating and current events that are happening so we can see what other people think about them and so we can just be up to date with what everyone thinks about the current events that are happening and I think it's just a good tool to use and it's easy to access on your computer. Have you accessed it at home? Yeah, I have. I've used it at home. And that's what's easy about it. You can use it anytime if you have a wireless, uh, if you have a device that can support Wi-Fi, you can just go on it and see what everyone else thinks. Okay. What about your thoughts on Edmodo? Edmodo, I think it's really good because there's an app and it's really easy to update. I can just pull out my phone and I'll have a notification if it says, like, new assignment. I don't have it right now, though. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy to use. So you feel connected at all times? Yeah, and sometimes if I forget about an assignment, the teachers can post one online and it's really easy to access. Instead of on paper where you might forget about it, it's online, there for you, ready whenever you need it. Okay, so Edmodo is kind of like a basically a student Facebook, and you can do assignments on it. You can send posts directly to your teachers, and you can do quizzes on Edmodo. And it's basically everything you do online can like you can turn into assignments, like I said, and you can see what other what your other students are doing, and you can enroll in courses based on your classes. And it's it's really easy to access because you can access it from school and from home. So. Um, this is basic. This is one of my courses, and uh, there was a poll we took, and then up here in the corner we've got the notifications in this area. I have three assignments due, and that's notifying me about what I have to do. And if I click on the assignments, it'll go directly to three assignments I have to do, like I have something for Com Arts that I have to turn in, that's due today, October 4th, and then as I go down I have something due for um, Discovery, and that's due October 10th, and it, it kind of sorts based on priority on what needs to be done uh, because of what class you're in, and it goes by what teachers sent it to you, and everything. And then when you go back to a certain course, um, you have like different alerts and you can react to um, uh, one of the posts. Uh, it's got like awesome, like it, interesting and so on. And you can kind of see what other people are doing like and some of the teachers or badges if you go to the profile. And the teachers award badges like um, I have some badges here for being helpful, assignment completion, the A team, water pollution, and so on. And those are awarded by the teachers if you do something like outstanding in class or you complete a certain assignment and everything. So that's Edmodo. Um, one thing I like about Moodle is it's really easy to use and it's nice and organized for like all your homework and things you use in class. Like they have toggles with the lists um, per unit, all the links and websites, and all the information you'd need to know about it. So it's just like a really good tool. You can access it from anywhere if you have a internet device. Um, Edmodo, I also like because they have a lot more choices. Like they have a library and a backpack which you can access from home, and they have. Like for assignments, you can um, rate it. It has like bored, not taught in class, like, awesome, all the different options based on how you enjoyed the assignment. So it kind of gives your teacher an idea of where everyone's at. So that's why I like those two resources.